Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back in another episode about Train Driver 2. Right, guys. Uh, first of all, Raliev, uh, thank you very much for becoming a first channel member on YouTube. <laughs> I hope you will enjoy your badge that will grow as long as you keep your membership active. And on top of that, uh, new emojis <laughs> that you can exclusively use on YouTube uh, in the comments and on the chat. Uh, I can see you you already used one of them. Sayanta, <laughs> uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, sorry, there is no face cam, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't yet feel comfy to, to show my face uh, to the public. Uh, but at some point, yeah, like a live avatar might come in place. Uh, but that, that is a project that I'm working on. Uh, hello, Bleppy. <laughs> welcome to the stream. And hello, FDL. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> right, so... Uh, to begin with, uh, for everyone uh, who just joined us and uh, who who are watching my channel, uh, there is a few updates. Uh, they've been posted tonight on my Discord. Uh, so yes, from the news, uh, channel memberships are now active. So if you want to support the channel and gain some perks associated with them, uh, you can head on below the video and press that join button. Uh, I think the monthly cost was set at uh, 99 British pens. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 99 pens per month. Uh, so I, I thought that's the most appropriate uh, price for, for the perks that I offer. Uh, there isn't too much in offer, to be honest. Uh, like, there's not going to be... Uh, the reflux version is right. yeah i i know uh i know about that uh what was i about oh yes uh, channel memberships yes i i keep, uh, keep being distracted uh yes um uh, channel memberships are active so you can support my channel even further uh, obviously the basic support that you can show is to watch my videos and uh subscribe <laughs> you can also follow me on twitch where i'm also live uh, because i i multi-stream uh right how was my day uh, it was it was great to be honest i, I slept through most of uh, most of it to be honest but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of si uh, silent and slow saturday so like uh, basically my day starts right now <laughs> And uh, yes, coming back to to Reflag version. Yes, I know uh, it's it's not working. I'm still on old version, uh, which is twenty twenty point one point one, and we will be uh, playing that tonight. Uh, I did miss notification about a subscriber, but thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, my apologies for that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh, it was you, Funny Foxos. Yes, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, yeah, I, I, I need to get some sort of uh, uh, feed on on the stream window. I. I think the one that I got from uh, Streamlabs is not fast enough uh, because uh, I can see that last follow or last event was uh, Real Slavi on Twitch. Yeah, that's uh, that's not super accurate. <laughs> that will probably get updated soon. Uh, sadly, that's that's YouTube's API. Anyway, right, we all came here to drive some trains, and I'm and I'm keeping on talking about uh, stuff yeah <laughs> so perhaps it will be appropriate to switch to game window and start playing 
Right, uh, which one is that? I always keep forgetting which button to press. There we go. Jakieś coś! Uh, 2021! Yeah, uh, here you go! <laughs> I'm not that bad in Polish. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, right, so today we are going to drive some trains. Uh, to be more specific, I prepared a freight service that we are going to drive. Hopefully we will get a long and nice timetable, and same as we did uh, when we were driving passenger service. Uh, but that are just hopes. So, what we are going to drive? Uh, we're gonna take some tank wagons with EU07E83. Uh, I'm not sure how this locomotive will behave. I, do, uh, I can see it doesn't have cold start. Uh, so it's probably one of the old models. Right, so let's pick up a nice station to start. Uh, perhaps we will try and get some experienced dispatcher. Oh dear, oh dear. We can't connect to Pepsi. Uh, yeah. Mm. Right, uh, Piane Kolejas, uh, that sounds like a plan, so let's join him and let's see if we can get a nice and long timetable. Ideally, I would like to travel at least 100 kilometers with this loco. Hundred seventy. Yeah, that 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 is a timetable that I could drive, <laughs> and with this train that would take at least five hours. Right. Okay, let's see what we can get. Analysis has been sent and in the meantime I will prepare my train. So, uh, let's imagine we are transporting fuel, so I will be driving with a front pantograph on for a change. Uh, right, brake type, freight, perfect. Uh, we can probably set our lights. Uh, cabin lights, definitely. Gauge lights, yes, please. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I, I think we are ready to go. There we go. Some express train passing by. Beautiful. Right, let's adjust our camera position so we can get nice and comfy. I think that will be good. Let's lock it. Let's set up an external view. So that we can watch our train as we go along. From time to time at least. Yeah, that will be good. We can always turn the camera back and forth. Our nice tank wagons. Perfect. Okay. Back to the cab. Let's jump out. Let's inspect everything. Yep, uh, beautiful. All lights are on. Okay. Uh, let's go on the platform just in case there are any more trains passing through. Dziewuszyce. There we go. Beautiful. And 
now we have to wait. Yeah, the waiting is always the worst, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, maybe tomorrow you will run special station. What is that? If you can share some more details, I I look forward. What is the cargo that I'm transporting? Uh, well, officially, in the game it's called Mass Twenty. Yeah, that 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 has. Uh, hmm. Uh. That has very very mysterious name, uh, but for for today's video we will imagine that this is petrol. Okay, so we got our timetable. Ooh, 7.49. My goodness me, we will spend over an hour on this station. I, I guess we will have a nice session of train spotting then. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, this is pretty short timetable, sadly. will be stuck here. Grabowska. Hmm. Is that a new station? Yeah, big oof, really. Uh, big, big oof. Uh, oh well. It is what it is. Sometimes you have to wait and... <laughs> yeah, we will wait. <laughs> This is what it is. But it is a busy day on the railroads today. Uh, if I remember correctly, when I started this session or when I launched the game, there were over 30, nearly 40 trains on the route. Uh, so yeah, there is much more players than usually uh, so perhaps that's why we are struggling to get proper timetables but have no fear uh, after we finish this one I'm fairly sure we can spare some extra time and drive this train even further and take another timetable yeah that's that's exactly oh not exact not really new one year old. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's not that often that 56 trains and 39 yeah. And 39 dispatchers. Yeah, that's that's quite a lot. The server is nearly full. <laughs> right. Let's wander around. I think there's going to be another train passing through. I'm not sure on which track. But from the chat I can see service 31 5000 will be going through. I think that's the one, is it? Nah, that's not the one. That is some sort of a passenger service, isn't it? Let's check it out. Who is on the scenery? Oh no, that's the guy. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, nice, the Greek Zeus. By the way, welcome to the stream. Sorry if I missed your first message. Oh, yes, uh, yes. There it is. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, FDL. La last year it was 
I, I think it was golden year for, for like a train driver. There were so many players all over the time, uh, but yeah. Everything died down since uh, since the new patch got delayed, but... Oh, there we go! We will be able to depart soon. Perfect, perfect. Let's jump back into the cabin. Let's get ready. So after that train, you will be able to go. That's fantastic. That is fantastic indeed. And that's one of the good things about driving a freight train. Your timetable doesn't really matter that much. Oh yes, definitely. Uh, I was actually hoping that the update will be released today, but sadly, uh, I think they discovered some uh, some game-breaking bug or issue in the new version that everyone has downloaded, and they had to pull it out uh, for the time being. Uh, so I guess we have to exercise some more patience. Oh, nice, nice. Well, too bad I'm working tomorrow. Otherwise, I, I would probably join you at some point. But I can't guarantee that. Uh, because since I'm going to work, I will be busy throughout the day. And yeah, there's definitely not going to be any stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Raliev. Uh, you can actually do that with uh, with a freight train so obviously you can't do that with passenger services uh, but yeah with a freight trains it is definitely possible uh, like your timetable is only useful to to guide you through through the route uh, but yeah whenever dispatchers can send you they can do that But on the other hand, sometimes, even when you are on time, you might get delayed. <laughs> Tomek1410, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time. Okay, we have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, 31.5000 is still on the route. Okay, I need to switch my left light to red and we can now Carry on. Oh. Something doesn't work. Yeah. Oops. Right. Sadly, my controls doesn't seem to work. And I can't adjust the throttle. Right. 
Right. Yeah. We have a problem. Because Numlock doesn't seem to be working. Oh, never mind. Perhaps that's the reason. No. Nope. Thank you very much, Tomek. <laughs> yes. Perhaps setting reverser is a good idea. Okay. Right, so... Uh, we can lower the pantograph B since we are transporting fuel. I don't want to travel on the rear one. As long as I don't have to. My goodness me. I, I didn't realize that this locomotive doesn't start with a reverser set to forwards. <laughs> Ah, oh, silly me, isn't it? Yes, it is easy mistake, but I, I should have checked that. Uh, that's, that's my mistake at the end of the day. Okay. We can now slowly gain speed. We don't need to rush, our train is pretty long. And we need to clear all those junctions before we can actually speed up to 70. Okay, I think we can now increase our speed. That's going to be a nasty speed limit. It's 
20 kilometers per hour. That's gonna be very slow. That is gonna be very, very slow. Okay, slightly above the speed limit, but I, I think we are okay. Oh my goodness me, it, it's gonna take ages for my train to actually clear that uh, railroad crossing. <laughs> But I have to admit, it is a very interesting scenery. It's It's been ages since I've been traveling through it. <laughs> Such in Dombia. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Take ages. Right. I think we are far enough now. And we can speed up again. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Raliev. Uh, it was a blank uh, speed limit uh, sign, and whenever it's blank, that means 20 kilometers per hour. Uh, I'm stretching because I was passing through 20 kilometer per hour speed limit. And sadly, I had to slow down. Right, anyway, the next speed limit seems to be 40. Not only seems to be, yeah, you're right. <laughs>
Okay, yeah, the junction is set. I can now set my... Why is it saying red? Come on. Why can I just set it to, to red or off? What? What is that now? Okay, so something is weird with with this cap. Clearly. I will have to inspect on the next station or next stop if I got correct lights right now because like everything Oh, these switches are glitched. Uh, why on your keyboard two times? Well, I, I pressed those switch multiple times right now, so I'm not sure which light I got on or off. <laughs> oh well, uh, worst case scenario, I'm gonna get told off by next dispatcher and, and I'm gonna fix my lights. Oh yes, left red lamp off. Okay. Yeah, by by the looks of it, yeah. Okay, so so my light was actually turned off instead of being red. Oh my goodness me. I I should have inspected that yeah this cabin is terrible right anyway we can now smash it at full speed or at least at speed of 70. And that's one of the reasons why having... Yeah, if I could only move my camera a little bit further to the front so that I can actually see the lights uh, but yeah I, I can't do that oh, this is very unfortunate yeah but I, I'm fairly sure that lights are now on yeah you can't see them unfortunately right uh, that is button number one there we go Oh, almost forgot. There we go. We are heading to the next scenery. Okay, track speed limit 90. Obviously, my timetable speed limit will be capped at 70 because I'm pulling nearly 2,000 tons with U07, which is literally its capacity. So we can't go any... How much mass do you have on hook? Uh, that's... 1900 something uh, let me just 1936 tons so yeah I can't go any faster than 70 
Uh, yes, yes. Right, so now I will try and use this switch. When I approach the junction. Uh, yes, I'm aware of that. Okay, let's slow down, because the next speed limit will be 40, I believe. Let's delete that. I will do. Okay, let's not slow down too much. Okay, I'm gonna switch my light. This is really terrible. Right. Technically. Maybe now it is working. Maybe I need to turn this. Uh, I will have to experiment with that. This is a bit weird because, like, I did create the same consist to, to make a screenshot for the thumbnail, and I managed to turn on all the lights, at least the white ones, and everything worked perfectly fine and dandy in single player on the same locomotive. But I didn't realize that turning on red lights is such a pain. So, like, I should have checked that. Let's go at that speed. I mean, technically, yes, but the label is right now misleading because those switches doesn't work as they should. Because uh, left and right lamp should have three positions. So position two should be white light, position one should be red light, and position zero should be light turned off. And instead, this cabin has a separate switches for some reason, so it's like, uh, it's... I don't know why it was done like this, but obviously some of the models will just work like that and and players will have to deal with it
But I will double check it at the end station. So... We will be able to operate this locomotive normally, starting from the next run. Nookybrot, hello! Welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time. Right, so now we are heading to Drzewko and Bargovice. Which is our final stop. Oh wow, it's Piane Kolejas again. <laughs> Hello SN Gamers! Welcome to the stream! Love from India! <laughs> My goodness me! <laughs> That's far away! <laughs> Okay, speed limit will go down to 40 or 60, and I believe it's going to be on the lower side. Right, so, uh, in order to get a timetable, you need to join a station that actually has a signaler or uh, or a dispatcher but on your way you can obviously pass some stations that won't have a dispatcher there are multiple reasons why that may happen like whatever the tape uh, the timetable gets issued it gets issued through the stations that have active dispatchers so you won't ever get like a timetable at least at the moment of issue uh, where there is nobody controlling the station but obviously as you approach different sceneries as you gain some delays and, and stuff obviously if dispatchers are finishing their service yes you might pass through the station that doesn't have a dispatcher and for that there is an AI dispatcher that will just send you through the scenery uh, but you need to maintain uh, communication with another post after that that will have an active dispatcher and communicate with him your intentions and actions uh, because since there is no human operating specific station somebody needs to expect your arrival
Oops. Right, let me turn off red light. And let's prepare. Oh no, next is... 40. Right. So, when it comes to that red light, somebody asked about it, yeah. It is a bit bugged because it should come off as soon as I go into position 28 or 43. And it informs me that I'm driving on a throttle position that has uh, resistors uh, in the circuit. So I'm not sure if it comes off or not. Uh, we will double check it when we reach that semaphore. So by then I should reach position 23 on... Oh, there it there it goes, it comes off actually. Right, so... What he means by that... Is PT is basically technical stop. And I was supposed to be... Stopped at... Tuoki... Between... 17 past 8... Which is in over an hour... Until... Half past 8. Yeah, and obviously none of the dispatchers ever stopped me and like that is lucky because I'm driving freight trains so I'm the lowest priority and the trucks are busy tonight so there's plenty of trains driving back and forth Okay. Let's speed this bad boy up. There we go. We should soon reach 70 kilometers per hour, although I will soon have to stop anyway. Because we are approaching Bargovice. Where we will request another timetable. <laughs> yes, yes, Raliev, that is one of those lucky occurrences where you can actually start your timetable way ahead of time. But again, that's one of the perks of driving freight trains. Sometimes you can actually do that.
we go. We should soon reach the next signal that will actually take us straight to Bargovice. And it should let us know that we have to stop. Oh, there we go. There is a neutral section in front of us. So let's let it coast. I think those markers are a little bit misplaced. <laughs> I think they were supposed to be more on on that catenary pole, but for some reason they are right next to it. <laughs> okay, we can apply throttle again. Oh wow, it looks like this locomotive can't even reach 70. Yeah, I'm applying full throttle and I, I think my speed seems to be locked at 60. I could use shunt to speed up even further. Although I, I don't think there is much of a sense to do that. Yeah, I, I'm the only train on this track. There we go. So if that was Drevko, for some reason we didn't... Or was it... Oh, maybe that was Vitashiki. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm confused now. Yeah, I, I think that's Vitashiki. So the next station... Well, next... Next scenery will be Drevko and Bargovica. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, chat, you have to remind me to give a thumbs up to the dispatchers. <laughs> I always keep forgetting about that. Uh, that's so rude of me. That's a nice lake, isn't it? Okay, we should soon arrive at Bargovice. Not far from here, I can already see the signals. Yeah. I think it will be appropriate to slow down. And uh, not really, or maybe. Oh yes, I am. Oh my goodness me. Chat, I will have to fix it, yes. For some reason, the game haven't updated my time. Because I changed it in the system. 
Oh, that is not good. Oh well, I will do a quick game restart, it's not a problem. After we finish this trip, I can always do that. And the time should update in the launcher. Yeah, that, that's a good spot, in fact. I didn't notice that because I... I did change my system time and it's currently showing 8.17. But for some reason the game still shows me in, in British Standard Time. Ooh. Or British Summer Time, as, as you would prefer to call it. Yeah, that's that's not good. So in fact I was departing pretty much on time. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why, but it feels like I have no brakes at all. Okay, never mind. We are slowing down. That might be a bit too soon. Yeah, let's pull it a little bit. Oh, yikes. Yeah. So, level one braking was not fast enough, but as soon as I introduced a little bit more, it happens to be a bit too much. Right, let's let's pull it closer to the semaphore so that I can actually fit into the Oh come on. Did my brakes locked? Yeah, it, it seems like I locked my brake brakes and I'm blocking the junction. Come on, come on, just a tiny bit more. Oh, it's unbelievable. My brakes are still holding. There we go. Just a tiny bit more. There we go, now they are releasing. Okay, very slowly, nice and gentle. Oh yes, we are only at Drevko. Mm, 
nice and steady. Yeah, that is a very, very short siding. I'm not sure why this patcher didn't send me on one of those left tracks. Uh, they seem to be a bit longer. Uh, yeah, it is somewhat of a, like a blow up discharge. But for some reason, I, I still prefer like normal charge. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure which is the right technique to, to use because I, I've never actually driven the correct thing or like actual locomotive. But I think that the next position after drive should technically be uh, like a cut off position, is it? And for some reason in train driver it's like a fast blowout position. Anyway, let's introduce some locomotive brake just in case. Right. Let me check those lights, since I'm stopped at the light. Okay, I managed to turn on red light, along with the white light. So now if I will turn that off, it should technically... Okay, both of them came off. So... Oh, no, now the red light is... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see what you did. So, if I will do that, okay, now it's off. And if I will do that now, now it's off. Okay. Okay, now I understand. So, if I turn that off, and then turn it on, it works. Now I should have white light. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so that's one problem solved. I can see there is a train passing next to us on the left track. Or actually there will be a train. The woman waving is cheating for you, yeah? <laughs> I guess, right. Oh, there it is. Two step for key two. Oh, there we go. So that's, that's another mystery solved. Okay, let me just take a nice screenshot. There we go. Beautiful. Fantastic. Right, so now I need to wait for my clear signal. And then we can continue all the way to Bargovice, where I will do a quick break. 
and in the meantime I will restart the game to make sure that the time is properly updated in the game. To be honest, I, I really wish that there would be a setting inside the game that will allow me to, like... Um, fix my time. So, let's say if I could make a setting in the game that will say, okay, I'm in this time zone, please adjust my display time to match the server. Hello Nico, welcome to the stream. I hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> oh, just dropping in for a moment to say hi. Well, hi. <laughs> oh yeah, since we are here, thumbs up to Polski Czech. That looks more like a fertilizers instead of fuel. Okay. Yeah, that that would be brilliant if if display time would be a server time instead of like uh, user local time. It, like, how often did you, let's say, start the game and then realized, oh yeah, I, I forgot to change my system time to to match the server. Uh, which is, yeah. It could be done better, but well, the game is still in development. Uh, am I still blocking a junction? Oh yeah, I am still blocking this junction. I'm fairly sure about that. Yeah. One car too long, at least. So basically, a dispatcher can't send anyone on this truck. Oh, it is in your time zone. Yeah, so so you are lucky one. Uh, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, for me, I I always have to remember to change my time zone in the system and then start the launcher and for some reason today it didn't work I hope it's not because of launcher updates that uh, I did recently right let's jump back to the cabin the problem is that even if I will pull in closer to that signal I, I don't think I will fit Uh, Nuki Brut, every single signaler had at least one siding uh, to fit my train and they know how long my train is so like if you don't know your station you shouldn't become a signaler. You should know where you can send a train that needs to stop, you shouldn't be stopping trains on the tracks that are too short. And my train is still 100 meters below the maximum that the game can handle so like I also don't need the longest sidings could technically try and pull it closer but yeah like, I also don't want to be stopped exactly at the semaphore it's it's not the right thing to do I did that few times where literally semaphore post was behind this bar and obviously I couldn't see it and I hate to make that stops because one more meter and, and you get flagged for uh, passing signal at danger.
Oh well, I hope nobody will have to use this siding or this uh, this truck for now. Although I hope I won't be held here until 8.47. Yeah, exactly. So, if this patcher will ask me to, to move even closer, I will let him know that I'm very close and, and there is a risk of uh, passing signal at danger. Thankfully, in this game, it won't completely end this scenario, which is a correct thing to do. And obviously, sometimes, even the dispatcher might issue you an order to pass signal at danger. So that is a correct procedure on Polish railways and that's why the game don't end like don't push you back to, to the menu which is something I like I, I would like to see that in more uh, of like train sims where the game just don't end when you pass signal at danger but instead like punishes player in in many different ways yeah obviously that creates a risk uh, that's that you will crash your train uh, on purpose and obviously developers don't like it uh, because their licenses with like um, various different companies that make all the locomotives uh, that's that they have in the games and they charge money for the game uh, obviously yeah they they don't like their equipment to be destroyed even virtually yeah that that's why in many of the games uh, that's, that are being sold uh, commercially uh, you will always see locomotives and units in perfect condition in their base paintings uh, or liveries uh, everything is licensed everything is fine and dandy and always clean you won't see any rust on any of the locomotives even if the unit that they recreate is a rust bucket <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's it's all about the money. Uh, Baluch, uh, welcome to the stream. Well, yeah, Nuki Brut, that that also might be uh, might be a thing. Obviously, uh, that would put a train driver in a higher age rating which while the game doesn't represent any violence uh, the fact that it's multiplayer it will increase uh, age rating uh, if, if the game would ever be rated uh, that is uh, again uh, just because of sheer multiplayer interactions where developers don't have any control over players and uh, what they say on the chat yeah that that's one of the things uh, another thing is obviously and the fact that you can pass signal at danger and players can be run over by trains yeah so like probably age rating of 
trained driver would be 16 plus or, or like something around mature rating even though it's just innocent train simulator yeah I guess I will be held on that signal for next 10 minutes am I oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear right anyway I'm gonna take a risk and I know every single time I do that, the signal changes, yeah? But I'm gonna take literally two minutes break. So, I'll be right back. And I'm back. Right. And the signal haven't changed. Woohoo. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna take a while, isn't it? Uh, right. I, I should probably raise Pantograph. So I've been standing here for a while. I can get to that dispatch tower. I think you could. Wait. Oh, there it is. There we go. That's my lovely train. Yeah, I... I don't think dispatcher will be able to actually see that I'm blocking the junction. Liquid diamonds. No, those are not liquid diamonds. Uh, the company name is Diamant. And I'm I'm not sure what they produce in real life if if and if it's an actual company. Uh, but for the purpose of today's video, we are going to imagine that inside all those tankers there is a liquid fuel. Or petrol, if you prefer that. Yeah, definitely the dispatcher should send me on the last track. That would be the most appropriate thing to do. It seems to be much, much longer. And it has enough distance between semaphores for me to safely stop. Oh well. There we go, a timetable from 2016.
okay we might use that occasion to take a nice screenshot there we go there are not many places where you can actually look at your train from higher up hmm. I don't think that this table actually matches what's what's the actual station is yeah that that seems to be a little bit more complicated and too bad that this table is not interactive so that dispatcher can't actually set the routes using the table instead of like separate software <laughs> nice tunes yes speaking of tunes I'm using uh, stream beats uh, so far yeah I, I think Harris Heller is keeping up to his promise of of keeping stream beats streamer safely or streamer friendly and yes the tunes are pretty good uh, I, I don't complain about them myself uh, there are many different styles that you can choose from and yeah like you can always stream using that music uh, which is nice you don't get any like terrible uh, surprises from any DMCA or or whatever that is called. Claiming that this 10-20 seconds of music that you played during your stream makes it belonging in entirety to them and they can take full like revenue from from six hour video let's say for 20 seconds of music which is ridiculous to be honest uh, since all that thing started with uh, with all those uh, like copyright claims and strikes I can't remember when was the last time I actually listened to typically commercial music like Honestly, I, I don't even use a radio anymore. I mean, it is in place because, like, uh, music producers and, and their managers, yeah, decided, yeah, we are losing a ton of money because people are listening to our music and it gets popular. So now, what they effectively did, nobody listens to that shit because everyone knows, yeah, these guys are just greedy, yeah? So unless people are following a specific band or, or like music group that actually makes concerts and all that stuff, they cut out all that potential revenue because they haven't figured out, okay, maybe we will start selling licenses so that, let's say, content creators on, on YouTube or Twitch could pay us for being able to, to stream our music and make it even more and more popular, yeah? And right now, everyone stopped doing that. People decided, okay, you know what? We have money, we can create our own music, yeah? And we can make it available to other streamers, like let's say Harris Heller did, or there are a few other uh, like groups or companies that already are doing the same thing. And there are now streamer-friendly like music that is available, uh, let's say, on Spotify or many other platforms, and you can stream it. You are paying them for, for listening to that yourself. And also they include like free streaming of the music to, to any other platform, which makes this music more and more popular. But nobody listens to, to let's say, Sabaton on, on like uh, streams, yeah, which is a nice rock band. It, it fits many, many types of games or, or many types of uh, content that people might create, but people don't do that because you can't even buy rights to stream that music, yeah? 
So, yeah. So, they wanted to be greedy, and they lost twice, in my opinion. That That's my opinion about, like, fully commercial music at the moment. Oh, there we go. We can now move off. Okay. Let's lower the pantograph. Okay, yeah, so eventually we will end up being at Bargovice on time. And Renji, hello, hello. Uh, sorry for not instantly answering to your message. Welcome to the stream. That sorted. Okay, let's try and speed up. It literally takes ages for this locomotive to gain speed. Especially with that cargo. There we go. Right, it shouldn't take long now. Oh, those signals are cancelled apparently.
Okej, okay, that's... What is that? Uh, Trefko wschodnie, okej. Okay. So the next step should be Bargowice. If I'm correct. There we go, we are approaching neutral section. And the next scenery is loading. Perfect. There we go. So now we are heading to Bargowice. Finally. Too bad we had to stop at Drzewko, but well, it happens again. At least we were let go on on the same time that we were supposed to leave. To be honest, that's not the worst placed uh, neutral section I've seen. Uh, I think there is one station where neutral section is pretty much uh, right after the platform. So, like, literally you apply just a tiny bit of throttle, get your locomotive moving, and then you have to roll through it at a very slow pace. But I can't remember which station was it. And that is terrible. Especially when you are running freight train and you are actually stopped right in front of that. With a passenger train it's a bit easier because like when you start rolling your train will roll through it but like wow. Uh, there is another one uh, which is on a section of track that goes uphill and again it's not far from the station so you won't gain that much speed and if you don't get enough then obviously you won't be able to roll through it. go that is another neutral section is it yes yes it is <laughs> yeah this is really unfortunate isn't it like but I don't think every single neutral section in the game actually works, so that's at least that, but yeah, there are some places where, like, yeah, neutral section is in such a bad place that uh, it's unbelievable.
Anyway, we are getting very, very close to Barkovice. Hopefully, this time we will be able to stop at a reasonable spot. There we go. Let's start applying brakes. It's gonna take ages for them to actually apply properly. looks like I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna be stopping inside the platform not ideal I need to pull it a little bit closer to that signal. Although Bargovice has a very long station, so I should be alright. Okay, nice and slowly. the right time to text something. And we are slowing down. Perfect. Okay, we are stopped and officially we have arrived all the way to Bargovice station. Right, yeah, I typed plus but I never gave thumbs up. So let's quickly inspect if I managed to fit this time. I'm, I'm fairly sure I did and I think the platform is pretty much the same length as my train. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Or? Nah, okay, the train is a little bit longer. Is it? Oh, yes it is. Oh, wow! Actually... Actually... I just managed to pull it. Just look at this. One, perhaps two more cars. And I wouldn't fit. Like, for a freight train, that, that is a very low margin, I, I can tell you that.
Okay, anyway. That was our first trip. We are going to take the same train. But, as I promised, yes, I will uh, restart the game to, to update time and, and make it a little bit more uh, coordinated with with the ser uh, with the server time uh, so that we can get our timetables right because um, it looks very awkward thankfully I was traveling with with a freight train or the passenger one I think I did the same mistake in one of my early videos where basically people were pointing out hey you were one hour ahead of your schedule no I wasn't I was in a different time zone <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And back then I was traveling with a passenger train, so that looked very awkward. Right, anyway, guys, I'm gonna take a short break. I will restart the game. And sort out myself. And then we will join another station for another lovely trip with this particular train. Now that we have lights sorted and, and we know what to do, we can keep on practicing. Because it's really fun.
All right, all right, all right. I'm back. Right, so, uh, yes, uh, yes, Raliev. Uh, you won't see my desktop. Uh, and the reason is simple. Uh, I use a game capture mode instead of... Uh, instead of like a screen capture mode uh, so that's why you won't see my desktop or any other stuff i i do have a screen capture uh, set up but that is for different purposes uh, but yeah usually when i turn off the game you will just see a black or gray screen depending on the background and, and that that helps me protect my privacy and do things behind the scenes <laughs> it takes a while to to get it set up but when you do it correctly yes uh, you you won't get feedback from entire of my screen <laughs> only what i want nookie root oh yeah that that's a nice sticker i i have to admit that uh, well those those emotes on on twitch chat yes th those are really nicely made uh, but I think you should have set them into separate messages to, to line up properly <laughs> right anyway uh, guys uh, the game should now theoretically have the correct time so let's check it out and I'm using the wrong train Obviously, that's the one. And, 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 let me just copy and paste that. There we go. That is copied. Let's confirm. Right, where should we join? There we go, Nookie Brute. Now I can see entire sticker. <laughs> Now it works. <laughs> right, and let's see, let's see. Uh, where should we join? Any suggestions, guys? Hmm, perhaps. Should we try Nakwa? Yeah, let, let's join Nakwa. Perhaps we can get some nice timetable from Mr. David15. So let's jump in on this spawn and let's see what we can get. There we go. Let's say hello and let's wait to be called out. Raised pantograph and let's gauge lights, cabin lights, there we go. Okay, we can now send analysis. Okay. That's going to be good position. We can perhaps move a little bit closer. Yeah, that will be good camera position. Once more, external view. I hope that will get updated at one point and we will get some more external views that would be nice Ooh, that was a bit too fast camera movement need to watch on those yeah that looks really good I think there's gonna be train passing next to me looking at the signals that that sounds appropriate There we go, 
Uh, oh, that's that's not a long timetable, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I I guess that's the best we can get today. But since now everything works correctly, I can actually just request a new timetable on where is that Arcadia's Druid. And that's gonna work as well. Perfect. Okay, so there's gonna be train going from behind me. Perhaps we could jump back into the cabin, jump out, and find a good spot set ourselves up. Oh! Is that... Is that the sign that I don't want to see? Oh, okay. Ooh. Lucky, lucky. It's not gonna be neutral section here. It just indicates that the siding right next to me, which is also a closed track, doesn't have catenary. Okay, okay. Uh, let's find a good spot. So that we can observe that passing train. Yeah, 25 kilometers is not the longest timetable I can get, but well. Again, uh, there is quite a lot of drivers today, uh, very few stations, so it's gonna be really hard to get better timetables. Oh, this, this guy has the wrong light, in fact. Yeah, he was still using maneuvering lights. And no tail lights. Uh, in fact, in this game you won't get tail lights. At least on the freight trains. Uh, I think only passenger trains will have a tail light. On the freight trains, you will get tail signs instead. So there are special markers that are being put at the end of the trains to indicate that it is the end. Uh, I think there should be red lanterns that uh, that you can hang on on the back of your train but i, I don't think they are already in the game uh, but normally the end signals are those signs so you can basically toggle them uh, but they are visible only during the daytime uh, during night time you should technically have a red lanterns or, or something like that <laughs> yeah many uh, many objects in the game doesn't have any collisions at all so let's say I can go through the middle of that uh, catenary pole I, I think yeah like wagons will have but the couplers and, and buffers doesn't have any any hitboxes. Oh well, the game is not perfect, but it's getting there, it's getting there. Uh, the new update will bring a new uh, version of Unity that will eventually increase 
or improve the game a lot. Uh, obviously, it's, it's mostly a technical update. Yeah, it is funny. But, well, there's nothing you can do. For a free game, I'm, I'm still happy with it. <laughs> Michael Trunks. Okay. Oh, there we go. There is another freight train. Just appearing. Let's see. Who could that be? No, Nuki Brutes. The game is completely free. Uh, since you are watching it on Twitch, I don't think I put any links to the game in the description. But on YouTube, right under stream description, uh, yeah, right under the stream window, there is a description, and I think I still have a link to the game's website where you can register, download the game, and play. Yeah, I got some PTs, but uh, I, I do hope that I will be able to skip them. There we go, let's, let's take a screenshot of this bad boy. Right, so we can head off. Oh yeah, reverser. See, this time I, I haven't forgot. Okay, let's lower the pantograph B. Oh, oh yeah, breaks the freight. Almost forgot about it. <laughs> streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, <laughs> I'm fairly sure that I announced the same thing at the beginning of every single stream. <laughs> that I'm live on both platforms at the same time. And that's the reason why uh, I didn't accept uh, a status of Twitch affiliate, which I'm eligible to. Uh, that's mostly because Twitch requires me to uh, make the streams exclusive to Twitch for a period of 24 hours, which I'm not going to do. I don't have to do that as a creator, but obviously I will never get all those cool benefits of having subscribers and like emoticons on, on Twitch. Which is a shame, but well, it is what it is. It's Twitch policy that's their terms of services, and unless they change it, I, I won't accept a status of affiliate or partner if I will ever get that popular on Twitch.
I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I really like Twitch for some things. Like, let's say their chat integration with all that funny stuff that you can do with your audience is something that's, well, YouTube won't probably get for a long time uh, because of their ridiculously slow API. Uh, that's why, let's say, notifications are pretty much instant uh, on Twitch when somebody follows you, subscribes and, and takes any other action. Yeah, You get all those fancy notifications. While on YouTube, unless a viewer has its privacy settings set correctly, you pretty much will never get any notification that somebody subscribed, uh, that somebody, uh, let's say, bought a membership or, or did something. Unless it's an external thing, let's say, uh, if somebody would tip me, uh, then the notification would come through instantly. But when somebody subscribes, I might not get notification for four hours on, on YouTube, yeah? So that lack of chat integration and, and like that slow API makes it a little bit worse of a platform when it comes to content that requires you or that would require streamer to like work with the audience, yeah? Uh, and on that field, YouTube needs to improve, but... And that's where Twitch is, is better at the moment, yeah? Uh, I, I strongly believe that YouTube will catch up at some point, especially when it will become more and more popular streaming platform. Uh, you could see recently some large streamers uh, decided to, to jump from Twitch to, uh, to YouTube. Uh, so that trend is starting. And if Twitch wants do something to eventually keep streamers on their platform, they will lose all that uh, all that benefits really soon. So yeah, I, I look forward to, to like YouTube becoming pretty much same as fast platform for streaming as, uh, as Twitch is. Uh, but there are also other benefits on YouTube that, that you won't get on Twitch, yeah. Let's say, I think on YouTube, uh, first of all, I can stream in higher qualities from the get-go. It doesn't have, like, uh, some ridiculous limitations in terms of how many uh, or how, how high bitrate I can set for my streams. So if my PC could handle, let's say, uh, 24,000 bitrate, which will make the video look absolutely great during the stream. Uh, Mishex, yes, uh, this is a heavy freight. I am running literally at the very limit of this locomotive. Currently pulling, uh, let me show it to you, some tank wagons with well, let's call it a petrol. I'm not sure what's inside, but yeah, for, for the purpose of this particular video, it's going to be petrol. So we do have some heavy stuff behind us. Uh, right, uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, I, I again lost plot. My goodness me, my brain doesn't work, isn't it? <laughs> Oh yes, I, I was talking about uh, differences between YouTube and Twitch, yes. Uh, so yeah, uh, like, it's a shame that I can't monetize my content on Twitch, even though I'm eligible to it. And I think the best move from Twitch right now would be to drop that ridiculous uh, requirement, at least for affiliates, to make the content exclusive. If that wouldn't be the case, then I could be YouTube partner and Twitch affiliate at the same time. Basically, that's extra income for me and extra income for both uh, for both platforms because obviously they can benefit from 
everything they have to offer to, to the viewers and to the streamer. And right now Twitch basically resigned from that by putting some silly point in their terms of service. Uh, Jan Abramovich, uh, not in that case, uh, since I'm pulling hazmat or basically explosives or highly flammable material, I think it's safer to, to have the pantograph a little bit further away from your first car. <laughs> so in that case it is appropriate to drive on the front pantograph, but for any other type of train, yes, uh, it is appropriate to, to use the rear one. Right, so, uh, we arrived at Dominikov and Sovibur. Uh, I think those are, yeah, I think that's the same scenery. Uh, technically, I'm supposed to be stuck here for a while. Hopefully we can... Hopefully we can avoid that, but yeah, I, I can actually... Uh, see that there are some issues between one of the drivers and dispatchers so I do expect that I will eventually have to stop and allow them to do whatever they are doing oh dear oh dear oh dear Fun starts when you have locals for multiple countries. Uh, often they have only one pantograph. Uh, really? Uh, I can't remember any any model that that would have only one pantograph. Uh, but usually, if if the locomotive is not suitable to carry specific cargo it won't be assigned to such cargo yeah so obviously if the pantograph would be dangerously close to uh, hazardous materials uh, probably the railway company would just assign a different locomotive to, to perform that task the road is clear I like it but I'm fairly sure I will have to stop at Sovibur although I'm a bit late so there is a chance there is a chance that I will be able to avoid this technical stop so far we are all green Wow, this guy is having his time, isn't it? <laughs> 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 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a dancing queen on a platform. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that links are also not allowed on my chat. Uh, if you put something with a dot behind, uh, the thing might falsely think that it's a, it's a link uh, but I will have a look at this bot 26 messages were deleted by a moderator that's weird right apparently yeah we have to slow down I am moving a little bit too fast. pull closer to that signal again I I think I overreacted but on the other hand I was so distracted looking on the chat that I missed the signal that informs me that I will have to slow down to 40 kilometers per hour yeah better safe than sorry but on the other hand if I will stop too soon it will take a while for me to get moving again so I would like to avoid that because right now I'm basically blocking entire junction Okay, we can let it coast now, and we should be good. Right, so eventually we will have to wait for that uh, 5 to 10 minutes, probably. Some of the brakes might still be holding, since we are slowing down. Or perhaps the trucks are going slightly uphill. Nice and slowly. Ooh. I can see the whole locomotive shaking a little bit. The tracks might be in pretty bad condition here. Okay, we can now stop.
And perfect. Right, this brake into drive position and let's engage locomotive brake. That should be enough to hold us. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Perfect. Okay, I will... In fact, I, I could raise the pantograph now. There we go. Beautiful. I'm 100% sure that I managed to fit this train into this siding. It was pretty long. I think the entire siding in here has like 600 meters, so that's 50 extra meters for me to use. Yeah, I can already see that I managed to fit. Just perfect. Wow. Someone is clearly having it with the horn. My favorite railway related word. Uh, not really. I never actually thought about that. <laughs> there we go. Let's wait for that train to arrive. I think that's a good place to take a screenshot. we go that's the EN57 is it or is that EN71 I can't remember which one is it they both look the same anyway at least in the game we don't get any any of those modernized versions okay let's grab a couple of screenshots perfect That's a nice black and white livery. Beautiful. <laughs> Was it your cookie? Nice! Nice! <laughs> you have been recorded! <laughs> EN71, there we go. Yeah, I, I didn't notice the markings on, on the front, so...
Right, let's jump back to the cabin. Let's reset our camera. Now we need to get ready to move. Uh, is that... Oh, button. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I think soon we should get our clear signal for departure. It is the stronger of the two, it has two pantographs. Huh? I mean, I think EN57 also has two pantographs. Or maybe, can't remember. Yeah, it's been ages since I've been actually traveling with EN57 or 71. Perhaps the next passenger service will be done with one of those. Oh, there we go. Four, four part segments and EN57 has three. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we can now depart. I don't know why, but I always love how this locomotive literally just screams when you are trying to pull something heavy. Like, I can actually feel the struggle. <laughs> Arcadia is empty. You mean there is no dispatcher there? Oh my goodness me. That's not good. I was actually hoping to continue from there, but... Oh, no trains, that's fine, that's perfectly fine. So hopefully, we will be able to go straight through. The question is, how does Otvotsko look like? Oh, you are at Arcadia, as a dispatcher, or... Are you driving a train? Uh, 
There we go. Throttle is now on position 43. So we can relax a little bit. No need to rush anymore. Oh, SM42, that is a fine choice, sir. And you get access to all those cool stations that doesn't have catenary. I really wish somebody would make ST44 for this game. It would really fit it. And it will also boost a popularity of all those nice sceneries without catenary, because obviously ST44 is a diesel locomotive. There was also SU45 if I remember correctly, and that would be more suitable for passenger trains, but yeah, I, I'm fairly sure that ST44 would still handle that. Oop, almost forgot. Why haven't you reminded me? There we go. Whew. Right on time. Okay. Shunt this off. And we are now heading to Otpotsko. Okay. How's the signals looking? Perfect. Green so far. There we go, that's a perfect speed, isn't it? Uh, what's my speed? 64, okay, not too bad, not too bad. I could go slightly faster, but... There's no need to rush. Especially with this train. Ooh, I think we are going downhill now.
Okay, I can already see the next signal in the distance. Perfect. So we are not going to stop at Otwocko. Perfect. So now we will go all the way through to Arkadia Zdruy, by the looks of it, at least. People these days are so impatient. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yes, it is. Yeah, basically this driver decided that, well, he's not willing to, to wait for his timetable. And instead of just asking, okay, please delete it, I will jump into another station to try again. He just decided, okay, I, I will just leave there. Yeah, right. Okay, fair enough. That's how you describe a rude behavior. Instead of trying to communicate, do something on your own in a multiplayer co-op, which is sad behavior, but well, it happens. Oh yeah, not not many people have patience. Like we we live in a so fast world that like everyone forgot what patience is. <laughs> But to be honest, there are things that even I am impatient uh, about, yeah, so, like, waiting, when you are really waiting for something to happen, that's, that's when you are about to lose patience, yeah. There we go, we are approaching the next scenery, which means that's good time. To give a thumbs up to dispatcher, there we go. I really don't know why I keep forgetting about it today. <laughs> oh wow oh yeah I often get very impatient when I work with some very slow PC like on my own PC, I'm, I'm used to, like, turn it on and everything works pretty much instantly, yeah? And now imagine me going to, to my work where I have to work on, on, like, some laptop from previous era. Oh, we will have to slow down to 60. And that laptop takes literally 15 minutes to turn itself on to, to Windows. And it's like, why? <laughs> Why it takes so long? Oh, 
Oh, there we go, Nitrodani. Going down a hill. It's gonna take a while before I will stop. Oh dear, that's why. Oh, there we go. We got radio stop anyway. Okay, seems like brakes are released now. Okay, any chance we can move or... I think we will have to wait a little bit longer for those wagons, yeah. Ooh, this is gonna take a while. Oh, yeah, that was like, uh, that was TOL, okay. Yep, but the signal was still unknown. There we go, we can finally move. Oh no, we can't. A normal one. All the lights were on. I don't think that's a normal one. 
or maybe I will have to review this on on the video but it looked like yeah that that wasn't exactly correct Yellow, white and green, uh, perhaps I, I really need to review that, because like, I'm, I'm confused now, but if I remember correctly, TOL doesn't have such signal. Or maybe? Ah, never mind. Perhaps I'm getting tired. <laughs> oh yeah, it's an old signal. Yep, that, that's a good point. Damn, I forgot that this that this scenery uses the old light semaphore signals. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, that that gets really confusing. Yes, it is. And I think in, in the newest version, it's not part of uh, standard pack anymore. I really can't remember because like you will have to reinstall the newest version because there is some sort of a bug in it. And and they're gonna make another release. It's somewhere on the forum. I mean, like, traveling on, on the stations with those old form semaphores, uh, where you also have catenary is a pain in the ass, I, I really hate that. Uh, mostly because it's really hard to spot those uh, form signals. Uh, but when on top of that you get old light signals, which I barely can remember, then yeah, that's, that's, wow, that gets super confusing. <laughs> oh! That's nice. I need to try it one day. Uh, what is the level for Arcadia's Druid? For this one. Uh, is it level 6? Level 4, so I'm, I'm very close to it. I think I'm level 3 with just a few trains missing to level 4. Uh, let me first stop so that I won't shoot over the signal, please. Come on. Stop already! Oh, you... Okay, I can barely see the signal, but we should be safe.
Okay. Yeah, that was a close one. Like... The brakes in this train are sometimes like... Ah. Like, one time I will engage them and I will stop way too soon. And the other time I will engage them and I feel like I'm driving on ice. <laughs> right, anyway, we managed to make it. Just, oh yes, that's a nice screenshot. Perhaps I could catch the semaphore as well. There we go. Some reflections, some lights. Okay, perfect. There we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Right, so... Perhaps one more. There we go. Perfect. Right, so I'm gonna use that occasion since I'm waiting for the next timetable. I will. Send a message that I'm gonna be AFK. Okay, thank you for joining me, Raliev, and thank you for becoming a channel member. First channel member, uh, to be said. And, well, I hope to catch you next time. Right, and as for the rest, guys, I'm gonna go AFK for five minutes, and I'll be right back with you.
Alright guys. So, it looks like... I got slightly delayed. Oh, Express is passing. Yeah, so I will have to engage brakes again. Oh, right. So I can I can wait. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> every time, every time I have to leave for five minutes. Now literally I have to make myself a coffee. And unfortunately my, my kettle is a bit slower than I expected. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, and is that too that is compressor? Have a look at this. Yeah. Okay. I think it will work. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Our semaphore is now set. <laughs> yes well it's not a exactly coffee break because the coffee is still here but it's now hot for a change <laughs> Okay, so we will now do all this. Yes, that is the timetable that is correct. I like it. I just like it. Oh yes, that's gonna be quite long journey, especially with this train that can do only 70. How many wagons? I haven't counted to be honest, Siavos. Uh, but... The entire train is 550 meters long. 
and the weight on the hook is 1930 something kilograms oh 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 oh, oh. i'm going over the speed limits some of my wagons might still be on the siding On Google Maps. Nah, no, you won't find it on Google Maps, Nuki Brut. Uh, there is a tool in the game that will tell you how long the timetable is. Pulling a destroyer escort, huh? <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, we can now speed up. Uh, Nuki Brut, uh, the route is completely fictional, so you will have to use in-game tools uh, to actually check how long it is. But if I remember correctly, the message from the dispatcher, the route should be just over 100 kilometers long. go full throttle applied right so basically how the game works each of these stations or some of these stations are basically a separate yeah you wouldn't find that route on on the google uh, no chance uh, basically uh, how the game works each station or each post is a separate scenery and a server as well yeah so as you can see every now and then i get that loading screen between uh, sceneries and uh, that is because i'm reconnecting uh, through different servers and each server obviously can be connected with one another in different order so timetable is generated based on what stations are on and the system or basically a script uh, that is on, on the website that, uh, that generates those timetables is checking, okay, those stations are on so we can send that train through this, this, this and this station because they are on and every now and then I will have to reconnect between servers to go through entire route. Uh, but the route ends up being very fictional uh, because obviously I can visit the same station three times uh, during the same day uh, from multiple different directions even though I'm still approaching from the same track because scenery doesn't change at all but this way uh, you can get timetables even up to 250 kilometers long if there's just enough stations online anyway I will try and post something for you guys uh, if you want to check my route there is a website for it and I can just quickly find it obviously in between driving the train and that is this website okay I can just put it on the chat there we go 
So on this website you can basically check what trains are en route and what stations are online. You can even track the progress of each train as, as they are progressing through their timetables. <laughs> nice, nice. Line is 500 km long. No, well, not exactly. <laughs> Okay, I, I didn't actually make it to, to say goodbye to Nuki, but I hope he will forgive me. Muffles, hello, welcome to the stream. Okay, it looks like I will be able to enter the station, but I don't have exit from it. Uh, do I still do D-Ray Valley? Uh, not too often, to be honest. Uh, it's been ages since I've been playing D-Ray Valley. Uh, I am waiting for the next update and definitely I will make a video about it. Uh, to, to check out what has... what will change, basically. Uh, because they are planning to release a new update before end of the year. And... It's gonna change the game name to Simulator, isn't it? And, and they are going to introduce some new goodies. Uh, so yeah, I will come back to it uh, when when the update gets released. But I don't really actively play it right now. Right, let me just begin my braking procedure. But. I recently started to play a game that is very similar to D-Ray Valley, so you might like it. Uh, it's called Railroad Online. Uh, the first video or first stream uh, was recorded just two days ago on my channel. You can find it. It's it's published if I remember correctly. Uh, so you might want to check it out because it's it's also a fun game. Pretty much the same as fun as D-Ray Valley. <laughs> It's also physics based, but on top of driving trains, delivering cargo and uh, and doing all sorts of that stuff, uh, you also have to build your own railway. And it's all in multiplayer. Ooh, come on, slow down. Oh my goodness me, I am about to shoot through that signal. Or maybe... Okay. Whew. Okay, that was close. I hope I managed to fit into the siding. I will in fact go and inspect that. I have a feeling I might not be... fully... I think I need to pull it... Oh, what did I do now? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, right. I did change something. So let me just fun spawn. Fun on. Okay. Train heating off. Okay. 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 Yeah, I, I don't think I changed anything significant. Break type right. Right. Current level normal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you build 90 degree tight bends after 10% incline? I think you could try, but that that wouldn't work so well. Right, guys, we are moving again. Oh, those two green flickering lights are just status lights for various parts of my locomotive. So basically that informs me that my locomotive is effectively turned on and the main circuit breaker, uh, breaker is closed. How I've been? Well, I'm... I'm doing pretty well. And what about you? There we go, we are on full throttle. So we are now heading to Kremenice. I'm slightly delayed, but that's that's not big of a deal. Especially with a freight train. Try and speed up. Goodness me. It's 
locomotive barely has enough power. Thumbs up. There we go. Beautiful. Right, and we are approaching the next scenery. I can reduce shunts. Should be all right. Now we are heading to Kremenice. Hopefully there will be no issues there. Perfect. We are connected to the next station. Oh wow, we are literally just at the beginning of our journey. There's still a long, long time before we will arrive at Stare Lipovo. And that is only if we won't get stopped in the middle of the way because of some other reasons or other trains that needs to pass through and since we are delayed there is a high chance we will have to increase our delay even further and unfortunately yeah This butcher seems to be sleeping. My goodness me, it feels like I'm driving on ice. Right, it doesn't look like the signal is going to change. We shall see, we shall see. Wow. I have to admit that I'm not sure if it's this particular locomotive that doesn't apply brakes that much or perhaps are those wagons that have so poor brakes. 
Uh, but literally breaking this consist is real pain. I'm pretty far away from the signal and I'm afraid I might not be exactly fitting into the platform. Well, into the platform definitely, but... Into the siding. Yeah, I think I'm blocking the junction. Yikes. Yeah, I'm definitely blocking the junction. So I will have to pull it a little bit forward. Let's just slowly pull in. Brakes are still holding. Come on, come on, come on. Lello Dirty F. Yes, Train Driver 2. That's exact name of this game that I'm currently playing. Welcome to the stream, by the way. <laughs> I hope you will have a great time. Oh yeah, those brakes are taking their time to release, definitely. Right, I need to pull in closer to the semaphore, because right now I'm blocking entire junction behind me. Oh, there we go. We got exit, so we won't have to even stop. go I have to admit there is one thing I like about this locomotive it is very challenging to, to actually drive like I don't know if you remember but a few streams ago I've been driving different model of EU07 and that one had brakes that worked perfectly fine and I actually felt like there is no challenge in stopping the train but with this one this is completely different story because level one of braking is not good enough while at the same time level two is a little bit too strong and you need to find that sweet spot where to apply it in order to stop in front of the signal and be as close as possible to, to fit entire consist into the siding. That, that's, that's something that I can definitely appreciate. Okay, let's give a thumbs up to the dispatcher, even though he slept a little bit. I don't mind, it happens. Okay, speed limit here is 60. Oh, never mind. Now it's 80. Not for long, though.
Come on. go we are almost there at the next scenery Right, so we are currently on our way between Krzemienice and Glinnik. Just in case anyone wonders, where are we? go right since we are arriving at Gdańsk section I do expect to have a massive speed limit oh, there we go 50 that's not a massive speed limit isn't it Although for that train, yeah, any speed limit is a problem. <laughs> because getting back to that 70 takes ages. <laughs> that momentum, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're back. You've been doing well, so I'm glad to hear that. Oh, there we go. In about 600 meters, we will be able to get back to our timetable speed come on Doesn't look like I'm speeding up, isn't it? Yeah. Right. I need more juice. Uh, hello, Mr. Skytrick. Uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, is there an update for Train Driver 2? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, maybe... Uh, the brand new update was released uh, but I don't think it came to life just yet uh, I know it was released like two days ago but they pulled that back I think yesterday uh, because of some bugs and I'm not sure if they reinstated that or not last time I checked nothing was in oh yeah uh, the launcher definitely got updates
Right, let's try and get back to our normal speed. My goodness me, that locomotive is literally screaming. clinic what am I driving so that is EU 07 for E or E4 I think uh, yeah I can't really look outside oh EU 07 E there we go uh, number 83 with whole bunch of tank wagons filled with something that can explode or catch fire really easily <laughs> right let's try Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a brand new dispatcher. Oh, okay, we are going to have to slow down to 60. It's basically the speed we are doing. And we are barely making it. Yes, uh, yes, I got the right pantograph uh, for carrying hazardous materials. And that's why I decided to, to choose this consist for tonight. Yes, we do. We have something spicy. I have no clue what that can be. Never asked. <laughs> better not to know some things you know <laughs> okay but seriously uh, I don't know I, I really don't know never asked uh, never checked got informed that this is fuel that's that's fine I'm not sure what letter does it have <laughs> Uh, yes, they look better, but well. I also think the same way. In fact, yeah. Okay. Now it's turned on. Ah, oh, come on, I went too far. Yikes, that tiny bit slow down is not good oh yeah I watched it okay I think we are now good yeah
Right, for the purpose of this video, the reborn noob, we established that I am carrying fuel of some sort. Right, let's try and pick up some speed. Oh my goodness me. Every time I need to slow down just a bit, it's a massive problem. Fuel, yes, fuel. I don't care what kind of fuel that is, but it is a fuel, liquid one. To be said. Okay, I am trying to get back to speed, but it's very difficult with that consist. I seem to be traveling slightly uphill. Uh, Mr. Skytrick, I think that... If you adjust your screenshot quality in the game, it will take screenshots in, in the full best resolution possible for Train Sim World 2. And if you send that to, to Discord, uh, I think Discord won't fully compress it, because obviously you can always press on, on the screenshot and, and view it in, in its full quality. So. But yeah, the thumbnails that Discord is gonna create uh, will definitely reduce the quality a little bit. Better than insecticides sites. Oh my goodness me. I can't even read that. <laughs> right, we are back to speed more or less, uh, but since we are approaching Gdańsk then obviously I do expect uh, there we go, speed limit of 60 that is gonna happen on the next semaphore Uh, how do you adjust it? Uh, you go to the settings and can't remember in which uh, in which section it is. I think it's general game settings and there is something called screenshot quality and if you set it to best the game will actually take a screenshot in the best quality uh, possible. and in higher resolution. Oops, uh, that was 40 knots. Yikes! I am going a little bit too fast. I should be okay though. Yeah, okay, maybe not. Nah, I'll be alright. Alright, the 
that slow. Yeah. Oops. I got so used to always travel through this station. From different direction where you will always get a signal for 60 instead of 40 that I forgot that you can actually get a 40 speed limit here <laughs> that is called a root knowledge Well, at least that wasn't as bad as, as the guy who... ...just passed the stop signal. Okay, I, I think I got a red signal in front of me because of that guy. Alright, Nuki, thank you very much for joining me today. See you later and, well, whatever part of the stream you missed, you can always watch it on YouTube when it gets published. Yeah, apparently the guy who went through red light triggered this light to turn red. Oh yeah, Mr. Skytrick, I... <laughs> but the situation was under control it's it's hardly to have situation under control if somebody is passing red signal <laughs> you can be happy with your 600 meter trains in Train Sim World 2, yeah? <laughs> I mean, I think uh, in the previous version uh, there was at least one or two freight trains on, on that new Dresden Risa line. Uh, can't remember which BR185 uh, was it. Uh, and they all, they were also uh, over like 500 meters long. I think the heaviest train I could find was nearly 2,000 tons, so that was really nice.
Okay. SW2 route over the Brenner would be nice or painful to drive. I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, is it a hilly uh, region? I'm, I'm not entirely sure about the geography of that place. And I'm a little bit too busy right now to, to actually check it. <laughs> Right, I am expecting 60 km per hour speed limit. Although... You will never know. No, that looks like 40. Am I going on a single track? Oh yes, I am going on a single track, that's why. Yeah, there's no bar. I mean, Train Sim World 2020 wasn't that bad, uh, obviously, like, I think it was released a little bit too early, uh, because, like, how long? Two years after release, developers decided, okay, let's do Train Sim World 2, which is basically Train Sim World with updated physics. And they decided, okay, and let's ask people to actually pay for it. Yeah. And now they are basically supporting a new version. While asking people to, to just make a switch. Instead of releasing a massive patch to, to train some world and carry on with all the stuff they had already for train some world. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's really weird. Oh, yeah, so, I mean, that sounds like a nice challenge. Uh, but I doubt Dovetail would, would do it anytime soon. How long is the route? To get between, like, two major stations somewhere there. I mean, yeah, like, the problem with Train Sim World 2 and Train Sim World in general is that it feels like a broken promise from Dovetail, yeah? They, they claim, yeah, we are working hard on it, and, like, you can't say they, they aren't because they, they do work on, on this product, but it was released way, way too soon. Like, the promises were about multiplayer, no sign of it, yeah? Uh, there were multiple other promises, and right now they can't deliver a route longer than 90 kilometers. So that's, that's sad. That's literally sad. And the only time you will get longer routes of like 80 90 kilometers is when you have to drive on it using one of the high speed trains while at the same time if they would release 90 kilometer long route for a slower train that would be something oh well
Anyway, I'm really counting on the fact that Simrail will fix the issues from Demo 1. They will show up Demo 2, which will be amazing by, by any chance, yeah? And people will realize, okay, so Dovetail was taking our money and they failed to deliver. And there is a company that releases a game for reasonable price. Hopefully the Simrail price will be reasonable. And it has a single route that has 360 kilometers. That is 103, uh, well, 360 kilometers long, yeah. Or 320. And that is something, yeah. You know, like, to get from one end to another between Katowice and Warsaw. That will, yeah, that will take like three hours. Right, we are back on the move. Where we are now, Torku. Yeah, most likely. So, we are heading to Głęboszów, Parzenczewo, Otwocko, Radzikowo, Bargowice, Sowibur, once more, Dominikov, Przęsy, Starelipowo. Okay. Okay, that's going to be very, very interesting. down Oh, that's 60, okay. Oh dear, 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 oh dear. Right, so now I have to speed up again. go okay we are back to speed 
almost and by the looks of it from now on we should get yeah pretty much we could go 70 through every single scenery on our route which is good Okay, from Innsbruck over Brenner to Bozen, it is 120 km road, uh, but the trucks usually run next to the road most of the time, so the track is about 120-150 km long. Yeah, so you can expect Dovetail to attempt to make that route in like 10 years, uh, because right now they are at level of doing 80 km long routes, so yeah, that's pretty much half of what they need. Okay, we got run through Gwenboshov. That's perfect. So, yeah, uh, Mr. Skytrick, I would probably expect if, if a team responsible for Simrail will obtain a license to do German routes, they would probably do it before Trainsim World will have it. Train sim hard mode, you have only two seconds to hit the dead man switch for the buzzer. Uh, yeah. You don't have much time to respond to this one. <laughs> That's for sure. But the buzzer is annoying enough that you immediately know where the dead man switch is. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> completely different from like German trains trains where you get that kind Sifa Sifa <laughs> How about reverse speed? If you go over the speed limit for 10 seconds, you die. Well, <laughs> on some routes in this game, it can actually happen. There are some places where you don't want to go over the speed limit. <laughs> Anyway, I, I really like those tracks. I, I'm able to keep hold of the perfect 70 km per hour speed. Is it? Uh, is it? Am I doing 67? There we go. So I'm, I'm just below my top speed. Oh no, the reborn new. Uh, new it's, in fact, on the railways, the limit is a limit. It's, it's unlike the normal roads where limit is just a suggestion for the drivers, literally. And, and like if you go three four kilometers above the speed limit it's fine yeah, it's it's not like that on the railways although on the roads same rules apply to uh, lorry drivers obviously they are constantly monitored uh, so if your tachometer will show that you are driving through the road with seven with let's say 50 kilometer uh, or 50 mile per hour speed limit and you are doing 55 uh, yeah like you probably won't get a speeding ticket uh, but 
your employer will most likely kick your ass for that. I mean, there is, like, on the roads, there is always that slight margin of, like, 2-3 miles per hour or, or whatever, because obviously there is there are those imperfections of, of like measurement devices but on the railway even though imperfections are there the recommendation is to keep hold your speed uh, slightly below the speed limit then instead of going above Why are you so surprised? Uh, Bleppy, I'm afraid at this moment uh, not, but I will try to do it as soon as possible. Right, right, we are getting there. <laughs> yeah, it's not safe to text and drive. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, maybe, maybe. If they do, it... Oh, okay, looks like I will have to... Stop anyway, so I might... Use that to take a short break and eventually respond to my discord yeah I think that will be able to be done right let me just stop on this siding and we will take that occasion to take a break
Right, let's reach. Perfect. So we got that agreed. Let's reach the siding. There we go, that's the last semaphore. Or last automatic block signal, in fact. Oh! That was a cheeky one. My goodness me. Oh yeah, I forgot this is... What is that? Uh, 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 no, that is... Oh, that is passion servo. Okay. Right, so I think I got S2 instead. Yikes. Oh, there we go. We are getting close to the 60 km per hour, well, 60, 40 km per hour speed limit, if I remember this station. There we go. Okay, there's 40. Let's let it coast from now. <laughs> if you go downhill from Brenner with a cargo train, you will not letting go of the brakes yeah that that's that's very interesting I mean there's definitely some sort of dynamic brake uh, in those locomotives so so yeah you will probably constantly have to use that and occasionally support yourself with regular air brakes Pretty much similar to Sandpatch Grade, isn't it? We're going downhill from Sandpatch uh, to... Uh, what is that station? Can't remember it. Uh, 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 Cumberland? Yeah, I think Cumberland. Uh, like, when you go down this 2% grade, yeah. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so you're now on Twitch! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
YouTube stream is a bit behind by like 4 seconds. Well, there's nothing I can do. It's all about uh, restreaming software. But yeah, 4 seconds isn't that bad. Right, I need to be very careful here. <laughs> nice one, thank you very much for follow. The reborn new. I think the signal is hidden behind the trees. I, that's why we got those repeater. Yeah, it's indeed a tricky approach. Let's introduce some brakes just in case I have to stop. Oh, okay, never mind. The next signal is far enough. Eh, that's what I get for not knowing this station. Ages to pull to that signal. But at least this siding is super long. It's like 800 meters at least, isn't it? Okay, nice and slow. We will catch some delay, but that's not a big issue. Okay, let's stop this bad boy. go those brakes released and uh, let's go pantograph okay right so guys I'll be back in five to ten minutes and then we shall continue
All right, so I'm back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, it took a while, uh, but hopefully everything is now sorted. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So now we have a massive delay. We will have to deal with that. Oh, game crashed. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Well, if you will reconnect, uh, I think the dispatcher will be able to uh, restart your timetable. Just reconnect to the same station. Hello Marcel, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, how is my day? My day is going great. It's, it's going really well. Okay, we can now move. There we go. Let's lower the pantograph. Mr. Skytrick, I, I will have a look through it uh, when I have a chance. Obviously not now, enough of DMs for now. <laughs> uh, but after the stream I will definitely have a look at it. <laughs> it's rather well since i'm already on the move and delayed yeah like reading through dms and and driving is not the best idea <laughs> Right, anyway, we are back on the move.
Okay, I, I will do my best to not crash. Have a good sleep. Uh, yes and no. Uh, there was a new update released uh, some time ago, but I think it was pulled back. And I'm not sure if it was reinstated or not. See you later, Mr. Skytrick. Right, right, we are back on the move. That's a neutral section, and we are going uphill. Okay, thankfully this one is very short. Very good. X and C are too damn close on the keyboard. <laughs> wow, well, you need to work on your accuracy then. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Bad fingers, you say. Hmm. Right, so we arrived at Otvotsko. About half an hour late. There we go, and we will have to slow down.
There we go, by the time the brakes will release, we, we should be below 40 km per hour. Do I use Reddit? Uh, very rarely. I do have a Reddit account, uh, but I, I don't really use it that often. TWR Gaming, hello! Welcome to the stream! I hope you will have a great time. Okay, so it looks like we will have to stop. What game is this? Uh, this game is called Train Driver 2. And it's a Polish train simulator. In multiplayer. So everything that you see is being operated by human players. This station for example has a, a human dispatcher or signaler. And every other train that you, that we will meet on the route is being driven by real player. Right, uh, so the game is basically set in Poland, uh, but the players come from all around the world, so it's, it's not only Polish players, uh, obviously most of them are, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, most of the people that, that you will encounter in the game come from Poland. Uh, but there are plenty of Germans playing this game. Uh, quite a few people from Czech Republic, Slovakia and few other countries. I think there is someone from Brazil that is also playing the game. So yeah, being an English player is not a problem. Well, apart from slight language barriers here and there, but Google Translate will sort it out for you. And on top of that, the game is free. No, the game is not on Steam. Uh, I'm not sure if I have a link on hand. Uh, it's definitely not on Twitch video description, but if you move to my YouTube channel, uh, where I'm also streaming at the moment, uh, in the video description there should be a link to the game. And there is also a video on my channel on how to get the game and how to install it. Uh, just in case you need any further explanation. <laughs> I will do my best to have a great day.
Okay, let's give a thumbs up to dispatcher since we got a minute. There we go. Yeah, very rarely, but you might encounter someone who doesn't speak English. But again, uh, every message can be translated. Uh, you can always use a Google Translator to communicate with the dispatcher. Obviously, it will take a little bit longer. But in most cases, that is not a huge problem. Finally, in most cases, like if, if you know the traffic rules, of course not. Like if, if you don't communicate with a dispatchers, as, as long as you understand the signals, because obviously if you follow the signals and signs, you basically don't really need to talk with dispatchers in in, uh, in most cases. Uh, then, like, everything is fine, yeah? The problem starts when you don't understand the signals and you don't understand the traffic rules on top of not understanding the dispatcher. Uh, that's when, yeah, things are getting a little bit complicated, but again, if you use some sort of translating software yeah, and follow the instructions, you should be granted. Right, anyway, we arrived at Radzikovo. You use Google Lens. Yeah, that's that's also an idea. Okay, let's let it coast. Because clearly the tracks are so smooth that my train is going over 70. Okay, so far things are looking good. The next station that we will be passing through after Radzikovo are going to be Bargovice. Marcel, uh, I've seen the new update, uh, but I haven't tried it yet. Oh, we got a stop signal in front of us.
Okay, we are slowing down pretty quick. Okay, signal have changed. Let's see if we can recover from that braking. Might take a while. Yeah, the brakes are still holding me a little bit. Come on, come on, you can do it. There we go. There we go. We are gaining speed again. <laughs> yes it is There we go. Okay, let's give him a thumbs up before we speed up. Perfect. Now let's get back to full speed. Looks like the tracks are going slightly downhill. So it might be a bit easier. Or maybe. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner then. Ooh, that sounds good.
That really sounds good. Makes me hungry myself. <laughs> right, so I currently live in United Kingdom. It's not a big secret, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 20 past midnight to be fair Marzo uh, for me it's middle of the day to be fair uh, not because it's middle of the day in, in the UK no 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 by any chance but it's because I usually work nights so like it it's my normal prime time <laughs> Ooh, 5.20 p.m. Nice. Okay, we are approaching next scenery, uh, which is gonna be Bargovice. Hopefully this time we won't be held at any signals. Yeah, at that time we were supposed to be at our final destination. But obviously that 30 minutes delay that we caught uh, is, is not gonna help, isn't it? Well, almost 30 minutes. By the end of the route, I'm sure it, it will grow up to 30 minutes. There we go, the scenery is loaded. Enough coasting. You can see we are losing some speed. Yeah, that was a short uphill section, and that will definitely set me back a little bit. Let's see. Okay, we got green light. At least for now. Okay, we can now let it coast. Let's see, the next signal seems to be green as well. Oh, never mind. Not for long. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh wow, it feels like I'm trying to break on ice. Again. Ah, 
Okay, maybe it's not that bad. Uh, is the next signal visible already? Yeah, it's still red. Okay, looks like Sovibor is offline. Let me just release the brakes. It's gonna take a while. Okay, I think we can make it in 90 seconds to reach that signal. up for the dispatcher there we go
perfect. We are gaining some speed, although we are also approaching neutral section. So I will have to let it coast for a bit. There it is. Okay, we can now... Start speeding up again. Perfect! Okay, so... When we get to Sovibur, uh, since it's gonna be offline, we will have to communicate with Starelipovo and gain permission to proceed. Oops, looks like someone derailed. <laughs> Go. I think the next signal is orange already. Yeah. Right. So we need to prepare to slow down and stop. Okay, this one is offline. Okay, dummy dispatcher initialized, and in the meantime... Uh, let's contact the fence. Okay, let's see if we can get contact with the dispatcher otherwise we will have to stop
Let's see if we can get an answer. If not, I will have to stop. like there is not much of an answer here we still haven't reached so, uh, Dominico so there is there is a bit of time but for now I will drive very slowly to make sure that I won't reach the end of the scenery Jackson, welcome to the stream, your first day of work, that's good, that's good, did you enjoy it? Okay, it's been three minutes since I messaged the dispatcher. No answers yet. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Three to five hours, not, not too bad. I see. What kind of horror game are you planning to, to buy? I see, I see, well I, I look forward to, to see it when it's done. Oh, a war of the world, okay that, that, that sounds intriguing and interesting. <laughs> why why would you like me to to say that hmm. we 
get a video on version 0 0.1 I, I will have to take a look at it could be amazingly funny why is that? Okay, we are approaching neutral section. Like any other internet meme, I, I don't know, I, I might not be exactly following memes. Troll face can be accepted word uh, word on on my Twitch. My goodness me! There we go. We are loading the next scenery. We should arrive at Chance really soon. Uh, I don't know. You, you you sound kind kind of sus. You know, like I. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it is. At least according to Twitch. That works for me. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Your life is complete. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, let's let it coast. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear that. Okay, so Vibur is unloading. Hmm. On the elite war of the world scene known as Camelot. I, yeah, I, I've actually never heard about that scene. Okay, so I need to do this and this, uh, although technically, yeah, I might have turned it a little bit too soon, isn't it? Ah, never mind. I will be going on to left track anyway, so... Technically, yeah. Might be appropriate to... To do it now. Next signal will limit my speed to 40 or 60, I'm, I'm not sure. Starely Povo, that's gonna probably have 
40 km per hour speed limit. brakes and by the time they release we should be going up 40 there we go yeah that is the signal for 40 yeah that looks like 40 to me It takes place between the Paris scene and the hill scene. Uh, wait, the hill scene. Uh, 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 I, I think I know which one you mean. Ah, there we go. That's a neutral section as well. <laughs> Spoilers! Not really a spoiler, so I, I, I watched this video a long time ago. Demons, hello! Welcome to the stream. Uh, sadly, you joined very, very close to the end of the stream. I'm about to finish my trip really soon. I've been streaming for past five and a half hours. But have no fear. Whatever you miss uh, will be recorded <laughs> you're so hyped now uh, don't worry whatever you miss uh, will be available to watch on my youtube channel uh, I will post the video probably few hours after the stream ends and I'm not sure about twitch I think uh, the recording of, of this stream uh, should be available right away so you can always restart it and watch me there uh, but yeah uh, my apologies you, you just arrived pretty pretty late and I'm pretty much like 10 15 minutes away from from the end of my stream I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> but well I hope you will enjoy your time with uh, with me today uh, that's that short period that uh, that you might want to still spend we still got few kilometers to go hmm. static events such as plane crash scene yeah that's that sounds like a plan Okay, so now we can continue on the left track. Our lights should be set correctly. Yeah, we did have some problems earlier on. <laughs> oh wow, you are looking very, very far forward. Uh, I, I guess we should first focus on, on releasing version 1.0, but yeah. Yeah, that's that's a long time.
Oh, there we go. Looks like there is a train stopped on this track for some reason. Might add desktop version in 1.02. Yeah, so sounds like a plan. I uh, will look forward to it. Oh, there we go. That's why I was sent on the left track. The guy was stopped on a red signal on automatic block signals. So, uh, if you are not fully aware about uh, Polish traffic rules when it comes to automatic block signaling, uh, those signals are permissive. So, even if they are showing red signal aspect, uh, if you are being stopped for, I think, two minutes on such signal, you are allowed to bypass this signal at danger. Uh, but you need to proceed at a very slow speed until you reach the next signal. Because it, like, this signal may just be broken or malfunctioning. See you next time, Jackson. Have a good sleep. Right, let's slow down a bit. I think we are going downhill. So that will make things a little bit more difficult, especially when stopping. And you know how long distance this train needs to actually stop. <laughs> Right, so soon that passenger train should overtake me again, if I'm correct, because he should be allowed to travel much faster than me. Unfortunately, I am limited only to 70 km per hour, while this guy can easily hit 110. There we go, we can hear him already. Perfect. Okay. Let's speed up a little bit.
it doesn't look like we are speeding up, isn't it? <laughs> eight, eight, ten, seventeen. That's that's definitely not me, but I believe they are talking about me. Oh, he actually stopped that passenger train for some reason. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Right, I need to slow down. I think if I will let it coast, I should lose enough speed. Although... Losing some speed, perfect. I might eventually give it a touch on the brakes. How is this game so good and so unpopular? Well, it all comes down to lack of advertisements and the fact that for a very long time this game was available only in Polish language. Uh, so, obviously it's it's not super appealing to, uh, to people from outside Poland. Uh, it is changing now, uh, so the game has English translation, better or worse at places. Uh, more and more documents are being translated. Uh, so uh, definitely that is improving. It still has like high entry level, especially for a person that doesn't speak Polish, but like there are people that can train you and, and such, but Again, it all comes down to lack of advertisement. This game is not even added to many of like games list and, and all that kind of stuff. So obviously many people never had chance to, to learn about it. That's why it's so unpopular. And I think, I'm not gonna lie, I might be the first non-Polish speaking streamer that actually features that game. Oops! <laughs> well, looks like I just ran over a dispatcher. <laughs> oh my goodness me! <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> oh my goodness me somebody please clip that <laughs> oh yeah I literally just ran over a dispatcher Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh my goodness me. Right, so I, I guess I got another victim on my account. I think that's the second one. Yeah, I, I think according to my statistics, that's the second person that I ran over.
<laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, so eventually after 5 hours and 51 minutes we, we had another funny moment. <laughs> right, anyway, now I need to bring this bad boy to a stop. Hopefully in front of S1 signal. Uh, in fact, I can now fix my lights. Uh, I'm not sure, Bleppy. I, I'm not uh, the greatest VR player, uh, as you may know, so we'll see, we'll see. Maybe one day, yeah, I, I could come back to Dire Valley in VR. That, that would be something, I guess. Right, let's bring this bad boy to a stop. The clip works! Yay! Woohoo! I got another clip on my Twitch account. Okay, right. Woo. Guys, we have arrived. We definitely have arrived. So, let me just take a nice photo of this lovely train. Let's turn off the UI. Okay! There we go! We got there! Oh, and there is another train going right next to me, so let's, let's do some quick train spotting session before we leave. There we go. There we go. Let's observe that EN57 is it or was it EN71 can't remember ah I, th I think it was 57 okay yeah he's gonna go on the track pretty much right next to me done and done perfect thank you very much Blippi Poor squishy. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I definitely squashed that guy. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That was very unexpected. Uh Right, uh, the battery visher, uh, yeah, you need to watch out your language on the chat. Unfortunately, uh, my auto mod will filter some swear words, so you need to watch out on that. There we go. There we go. I think that's it. And we can now end this. There we go. That was the end of our trip. And with that trip, yeah, uh, we also managed to reach the end of today's stream. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Uh, it was absolutely amazing adventure to, to have you with me, both on Twitch and YouTube, whoever joined me on which platform. Uh, just remember, if you missed uh, my stream or part of it, you can always rewatch it on Twitch for next 
I think 14 days. That's how long Twitch will store my past live streams. Or if you're going to miss that mark, you can always head on to my YouTube channel and the stream will be saved and available forever. It will be published within the next six hours, probably when YouTube will finish processing the video and, and doing all the stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's where you can access it. Uh, finally, I strongly encourage you to join my Discord server. Links are under both players. Uh, there should be links to my Discord server where you can catch me and you can also get notifications every time I stream or post a new content. Uh, and finally, you can meet some cool people that are also available on my Discord. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you next time. Bye bye.